For a long time, I really wrestled with my artistry and my identity. By the grace of God, I, I had some folks come alongside of me and disciple me and help me to think a little bit more critically about my artistry and my creativity and, uh, and ultimately my identity. And that was freeing for me. I began to see a lot of my idolatry wrapped into my art. As I've traveled and I've engaged with all these other artists, I've, I've recognized the same thing in them was the same thing that was in me. Uh, and so it was really important for me to think about how to engage this creative culture, this creative community with the truth. And that truth is you need to know what it looks like to be healthy as a creative, what it looks like to be healthy as a Christian. Images and Idols started off as a conversation. Uh, really, it was between two very different types of people. Thomas Terry, the co-author I wrote this book with, he ends up in Portland because he's starting a record label. I come to Portland because I'm coming to teach at a seminary. But somehow, by God's providence, we end up in the same church, we become good friends, and we begin to talk about the beauty of the relationship between creativity and theology. So a conversation turns into a conference, and that's the Canvas Conference, and that's been going on for a few years. And as we're doing that conference, we begin to say, we want more people to engage these ideas. We just realized that the conference wasn't gonna be enough. We wanted to put in the hands of these creatives a manual, if you will, a book, a blueprint for how to reconcile your creativity and your theology. And so this is kind of like the, the deeper, more complex thinking of, of our conversations. And so we decided let's put it in a book. Hopefully it helps people. So what we wanna do is not s sort of give you straight structures and framework and tell you how to do your creative work. What we want to say is these are the grounds for which your creative work can flourish. So we want to answer the why question, not the how question. We want to give you reasons and a basis and a source for your creativity. Not just a source that is rooted in the limited world around you, uh, but in a source that is eternal, a source that is transcendent, and a source that is divine. Any honest creative will say, I desire to create things that push into the transcendent. They all want to make art that far surpasses this world. The thing is, the only thing that can help them genuinely surpass this world is God, is the transcendent one. And so by giving them an appropriate theological framework for how they view God, this actually pushes their art into the realm of transcendence. So it actually gives them better theology, but it makes them better artists. There isn't this false dichotomy between creativity and your Christianity. Creativity and your theology, they actually work really well together. I just think a lot of creatives don't even process that. So really what Images and Idols is after is doing a theology of creativity and teaching us also at the same time how to be creative in the way we do theology. So it's trying to bridge that gap.